What sells dynamic performance, out-of-the-world acceleration and eccentric designs through luxury sports cars and SUVs? Yes, that would be Lamborghini. The car brand needs no introduction and neither does its models, Aventador, Hurricane and Urus. The globally known company even holds ownership of multiple limited series cars and concept cars. Powered by a V12 engine is the Xi'an FKP37. 63 units were produced of the unique model from the limited series. Its exterior boasts literal power and supremacy in its carbon fibre body, reaching a speed of a roaring best at 350 km per hour. Xi'an, meaning lightning in Bolognese. It is perfectly named to capture all the detail of the car and subtly highlight its speed. Did you know that Lamborghini automobiles were solely manufactured as a challenge resulting from a heated argument with the owner of Ferrari? Watch till the end as we will reveal all about it. Now, are you ready to be amazed by Lamborghini's futuristic car? Look at this beauty! Stepping into the modern era of technological advancements and energy efficiency comes a new addition. In the form of a concept car is the futuristic Terzo Millenio, an electric super sports car. The concept car is to cover four pillars, energy, materials innovation, vehicle architecture and powertrain, sound and emotion. Talk about being futuristic. We bet you didn't know that back in the day, Lamborghini didn't start off specifically manufacturing super luxury sports cars. In fact, their sole purpose was the manufacture of tractors. Ferruccio Lamborghini was born in Italy in the year of 1916. Growing up with a farming background, the machinery utilized in farming excited him. Soon he began to follow his interest in mechanics and studied at the Fratelli Tadia Technical Institute. He even served as a mechanic to the Italian Royal Air Force and later became the supervisor of the vehicle maintenance unit. Following the end of the war, there was a gap for agricultural machinery in the uplifting industry. In the year of 1948, Ferruccio Lamborghini founded Lamborghini Trattori. Initially, the company utilized discarded war materials to design and build tractors. However, through dedication and hard work, Ferruccio was able to soon increase the company's production. Lamborghini Trattori ran up the success ladder from the production of one tractor a week to 200 a year. Tractors, huh? When did the exotic cars come about? Automobili Lamborghini SPA was founded in 1963 to compete with Ferrari for reasons we will later reveal in the video. We know you're excited, do hang on! During the first decade of business in the super sports car sector, Lamborghini was sprinting to the top. Ferruccio's first sports car was built in four months. It was a one-off prototype, the V12 3.5-litre Lamborghini 350 GTV. However, the prototype was so successful that it led to the production of the 350 GT, which debuted at the Geneva Motor Show in 1964. It was official. The Lamborghini brand name made headlines as a competitor to Ferrari. We don't really mind the rivalry as long as we see some striking super sports cars. However, with the 1973 worldwide financial downturn and the oil crisis, the business became dull. Many changes took place, including a few changes in ownership and the company faced bankruptcy in 1978 and was placed in receivership. Following the changes in ownership, currently Lamborghini is owned by the Volkswagen Group through its Audi subsidiary. Today, Lamborghini is a world-class, exotic and high-powered super sports car that many dreams of owning. Wouldn't you love to park a 770 horsepower V12 engine Aventador SVJ Roadster right into your garage? Or maybe to feel the intense sensation of a genuine race car in your day-to-day -day life in a road legal Hurricane STO? Or even to vividly please your eyes with the style and exclusive pearl paints of Lamborghini heritage in the Urus Pearl Capsule? And though the fastest Lamborghini car is the Murcielago RGT, which drives at a top speed of 370 km per hour, yet 
The most expensive Lamborghini ever sold in the history is the Lamborghini Reventon, which sold for $1.6 million. So what is the story of the horse versus the bull? This is a historical story that created two brands of hyper super sports cars. Both are elegant, powerful, a symbol of status and bear pure love for speed. Over the years, truth may have been jumbled up with myth, but as far as we know it, this is how the argument went down. According to Valentino Balboni, formerly chief test driver of Lamborghini with a service period of 40 years, Ferruccio was going about his day manufacturing agricultural vehicles, tractors as we mentioned before. However, he was a big fan of sports cars that he even owned two Ferraris, one for himself and one for his wife. He often would enjoy showing it off. Every time important customers used to come to the tractor company to sign contracts, he would take them to the restaurant while driving the Ferrari. Apparently, despite his interest in sports cars and showing it off, he was not a very good driver. He was always burning the clutch. This resulted in Ferruccio often visiting the Ferrari factory to get the replacements done. After visiting the factory three or four times, Ferruccio decided to ask his head mechanic to do the replacement right at his own tractor manufacturing workshop. The findings of the mechanic made Ferruccio dissatisfied. What did he find? If you stayed with us this far into the video of the amazing Lamborghini story, do tap on the subscribe button and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. So, back to the story, what did he find? It was discovered that the clutch used in the Ferrari was similar to that used in one of the Lamborghini tractors. Ferruccio was furious because he would pay 10 lira for the clutch of the tractor and Ferrari charged him 1,000 lira for the same. Reasonable enough to be furious? Do let us know in the comments below. One day upon meeting with Enzo Ferrari, Ferruccio Lamborghini could not keep his thoughts to himself. He was brave enough to make a comment. You build your beautiful cars with my tractor parts. And the super sports car legend Enzo Ferrari's response went like this. 3, 2, 1. You are a tractor driver. You are a farmer. You shouldn't complain driving my cars because they're the best cars in the world. The reply back only disgruntled Ferruccio further and made him even more furious. None of the owners were ready to back down. Oh yes, I am a farmer. I'll show you how to make a sports car and I will do a sports car by myself to show you how a sports car has to be. This was the beginning of the battle of the horse of Ferrari versus the bull of Lamborghini. In 1963, Ferruccio founded Automobili Lamborghini in competition with his rival Enzo Ferrari and the rest is history. Hang around our channel, we have more exciting stories lined up. If you would like to hear about the story of Ferrari, do comment below.